But why do we not give IV fluids at the very end of life? It can be truly hard to understand and grasp this at the end of life, even if you're told that the body doesn't need it or this is a natural part of the dying process. But why do we actually not want to give IV fluids at the end of life? The body is shutting down. The organs are shutting down so they can no longer process this fluid. For example, if the kidneys are shutting down, our kidneys usually work to process the fluid and then we pee it back out. But toward the end of life, urine output drops off because kidney function drops off. So then the fluid has nowhere to go and it's not going to come out naturally. And unfortunately, this is going to lead to a couple of things. One is swelling. So if that fluid cannot work its way out of the body naturally, it's actually going to go places that it shouldn't, like the legs, the arms, the belly. So that's something that we can actually see happening if we add extra fluid. Another thing is that fluid can end up around the lungs in what are called pleural effusions. And this essentially makes it harder to breathe because then there is actually fluid around the lungs that shouldn't be there. And then sometimes that fluid is actually something we will then hear if there is too much. Meaning if you've heard of something called the death rattle where secretions build up in the back of the throat, extra fluids can actually make that worse. So if you needed reasons not to give IV fluids at the very end of life, these are a few of them. And the other thing to remember is that we are essentially prolonging a natural process when we give IV fluids to someone who is dying. The body knows how to die. It is a fact. You know, it's not really a fact that even can be argued. If everything is shutting down, we see that the organs are shutting down. We see that someone is unconscious and unresponsive we can have a pretty good idea that they are passing away. So if we give them extra fluids, we are just going to prolong the process and potentially increase the suffering. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if I can clarify any further and save this for later and share this with a friend that you think might need this information as well. And as always, follow along for more.